Welcome to the bold analysis. Obasanjo should pack and leave Kenya immediately. This is because William Ruto was playing with the old man's mind. And it is very shameful and very disrespectful. Because a latest letter has emerged from Kimani Chungwa responding to Kalonzo Musioka. And during the day, by the way, this letter came up when I was just working on a concept. Where is Obasanjo? What exactly is his role or was his role in the mediation talks? Because of something I, I will mention in this podcast. So make sure you watch till the end. Kalonzo Musioka wrote a letter yesterday um, calling for the talks to begin as early as first and um, as next week so that they can end within 30 days and number two for them to be held in Serena. But William Samoy Ruto team has responded with these four suggestions or rather these four positions. Number one, the talks can only happen around the parliament premises and they are not going to do the talks in Serena because according to according to Kimani Chungwa the government is not going to pay for the luxurious hotel in Serena where the talks are going on where the talks are supposed to be held because under austerity measures the want to want government to incur additional costs so i want to ask at this point what does that mean for obasanjo is simply the simple the government is simply telling obasanjo that you're doing nothing here because we are not going to pay for luxurious hotel so what their kemani chunga said is they cannot hold a meeting in serena and according to him that meeting should be held in some social hall around the parliament premise and so i dare ask a former president like obasanjo is supposed to go and meet in parliament or in hotel <laughs> number two will not engage in talks that are not going to talk about other issues okay you're not going to engage in talks that are personal or private we asked to make it public and remember the statement about making uh, the talks to be live streamed or something. That is what uh, Kimani Chungwa have said. Number three, we will also engage, not engage the talks outside parliament. Because we want everything to happen within the context of the law. I remember, now, when we are talking about this, it is reverting back, or rather changing a U-turn know the position that has been made before because even if they are saying they don't want to do anything outside the law then that means that um, Obasanjo is doing nothing in the country because Obasanjo is not an elected leader here number two not all the leaders not all the people in that summit or rather in that in the opposition side are elected because Stephen Kalonzo Msioka is not an elected leader. He's just uh, the, the party leader of WIPA. And also Eugene Wamalwa. So it's very clear. But on the government side, they seem to have picked former governor, Eala, that is Hassan Omar, and then, and then MPs and himself. So they are saying, if they are saying in that letter, the spirit of that letter is, they want to do anything outside the law, which that also means that they don't want Ambassador because Ambassador Sanjo or that they don't want a mediation. <laughs> That's it. But three is that the talks can only start on 10th Thursday because they still want to consult until Thursday. According to him on Monday, I don't know, I think, I, I think Monday or Tuesday, 
it is still the, the usual blame, it is the usual games that was played in the first bipartisan talks. Oh my goodness. Why did we have to tell Obasanjo to come to the country? Why did we? It is, uh, this is why sometimes I say it's stupid to take our political bad manners to the continental stage. I don't think it, it looks good. To Roy Lodenga, this is the moment to end the talks and let Kenya Kwanzaa do their thing. If anything, it is their government. You know, <laughs> it is their government. So if they want to create the position of, of opposition leader, the position of a position leader, so be it. If they want to embed the office of Regadi Gash, of, of Musalem Davadi in the constitution, let them do it. If they want, let them be, let them be left to do what they want to do. Because I think Azimul Omoja are engaging and wasting time in something that is totally bogus. It's the most unreasonable thing that someone will want to think about now of some imaginary talks between Ruto and Raila. No. I think Kimani Chungu and government side have shown, signaled very right that they are not interested in those talks and they are not going to do those talks. What am I seeing? Obasanjo has been omitted because clearly, um, and you see I mentioned what I mentioned here. What if these talks were to happen and to be mediated by Obasanjo, Obasanjo could have been given a secretariat and funded a secretariat for one month so that if there is going to be someone to call the meeting, then it is Obasanjo to call the meeting. If there is some communication, then it is that secretariat to run the meeting. But the moment you left Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio to run parallel, We've turned the whole thing trivial, so it's trading word, verbal exchanges between both sides and trading blames and complaints one after the other. It is a lie that is going to spend taxpayers' money. It is spending taxpayers' money against the austerity measures. When we have called for interdenominational service in State House, in, state, in Sagana State Lodge on Sunday, and we're going to pay pastors and preachers and everyone there. William Bruto is going to Central Kenya, and we're going to see videos of people that have been given me, uh, money, 500, 1,000, money. You've seen government spending, and government has even, is going to hold, held a cabinet meeting in Nenyuki for one week and left the state house here. How many, how much is being spent on people flying, you know? <laughs> so it is very clear that they don't want. And one thing they've shown is that Obasanjo needs to leave the country immediately. I think he might, he maybe he's even left. I understand he said that his name should not appear anywhere between the two statements, whether it's going to be there. For him, he was a guarantor and just an observer of whatever was going on, and maybe the talks between Ruto and Raila, because Raila could not meet Ruto without someone. Otherwise, it, would, it was going to turn something different. But two, Kenya Kwanza are creating spins and twists, the points of contestation, with a clear objective of stalling the talks. The biggest blunder that Azimio committed is ever to think that you can have a dialogue with William Ruto in this first term. And Raila knows it. Probably that's why he decided to push it on Kalonzo Msioka. He knows very well anything the contestation was to delay. I honestly do believe that um, the calls for talks, mediation talks between Raila Odinga and William Ruto were only entertained temporarily for William Ruto to get political optics that I have stopped the protests by the talks. But in real sense, the protests were stopped by Raila Odinga because all laws were not to die 
for the country. And I should repeat that. Not all Nuos were supposed to die for the country. The reason why the protests ended was not because of the talks. It ended because Luos were killed in Kisumu. It's as simple as that. And so, um, it is very clear that I think let Kenyans get their share of the pain. Yes. If someone will think one day that uh, things are not going right, they will make their personal you know, decisions. I saw, and, and I think I saw a statement from um, a leader from, um, from Nakuru saying that they would think about other aspects. But on this one, just as what we said, Ruto does not want these talks, and Kenya Kwanzaa have bolted out of the talks. Very clear intention that Obasanjo was unwanted man in this country. And uh, that is it. And so we should not think about anything talks. The statement from Azimio should be bolting out and chart a different path. Let them talk to Kenyans. Let them do political mobilization. Let them go back to political. Let them do other things. But forget about this thing. Even if you don't call people for protest, you can still leave the country to suffer. I think Kenyans will learn their own lessons. That's my take.